In this ukulele video, we're gonna do a review of the brand new Kala. This is a C-A-A-S-F-M-T-C. Basically what this is, is a solid flame maple tenor with a super cool cutaway. Hi, I'm Terry Carter and welcome to Ukulele Pros. If you're into ukulele tutorials and reviews, then this is a great channel for you. Make sure to subscribe and also turn on that bell notification. And if you're on Instagram, which I know you are, check me out over there at you like the pros. So these are brand new and I just got a couple in and they're going to be up on my store. That's store.youcollectthepros.com. But I figured since they're new, I'll go ahead and do a review of them so you can see them and you can hear them. And, uh, and let me know what you think of them. Just like the shape of them, the cool cutaway, how they sound and stuff like that. So uh, let me play a little bit and then we'll, we'll start talking. Now, normally I start off with a strumming song, but this one I did a finger style piece. Um, and so I don't know if it came across as well, but let me, if I just strum some of those chords I was playing. Notice the sound of this thing. Uh, what do you think? I mean, I want to tell you what I think too, but I want you to, to hear it as well. Um, First thing, what I noticed right off the bat is just really warm sounding. It's kind of a tight sound, so it's tight, and, but it's, it's really nice and kind of warm. It has a feel and sound of a, a really quality instrument. By the way, we do have the Aquila High G Super Nigut strings, and that's what comes straight from Kala on this thing. But let's just look at the woods, and I'll do some more playing. So we got the solid flame maple, which is really cool. Let's see if I can get some of those flames. Usually the flame is the wood that goes this way. So normal wood grain goes this way and then the flame, you'll see it off to the side. Um, this has a purple heart binding, which is really pretty. And then you do have the solid maple also on the sides. And notice the binding is not only on the top, but also the bottom, which is, which is really cool. Let me show you the other side. Oh, that's the back, but I'll get back to that in a second. So you got the other side. And I always like to show this angle of what I refer to as the butt. And this is kind of cool. They have the, the purple heart wood that separates where normally they were, where the wood is joined together. And then now the back, and you really see the flame on the back here. Let me try to get the right angle. So you really see this flame kind of going this way. So that is really nice. I mean, to have a solid wood from Kala is really cool. Now the cutaway here is a Florentine cutaway. And you see these, like, it reminds me of the uh, Gibson jazz arch top they call them boxes, jazz boxes, um, like the ES-175 has that real kind of sharp cutaway. So really, really kind of cool sounding. Let me play something and then I'll show you the rest of it. Uh, what should I play here? Let's do this. So I think that chord, especially those open position chords, really give you the sound of this really tight, warm sound that I was talking about. You could throw a little G on this thing as well, and that would even help give you a little bit more depth uh, to this thing. All right, let's, let's let's continue on. So the we got a maple neck, and I love how just just uh, light it is. Just a really nice maple neck. It's not it's not the flame maple, just normal maple. These really stand out. These these gear tuners that they use here. They are really sharp looking. I love the black on them, but they're really smooth. Just on when you're tuning it, really kind of a smooth, so really nice tuner. You do have the slotted headstock, which uh, which looks really nice as well. Um, and then you have the new bone nut and saddle. Now, this is something that's different too. A lot of the Kala stuff has walnut 
fretboards, but this one has a striped ebony fretboard. I, I do love striped ebony um, as well. So then you have the, uh, notice the purple heart rosette as well. And I'm not actually sure what the, uh, the, the fret markers are on this. It looks like, it kind of looks like an abalone and it may be, it's hard, it's hard to tell. Um, the other thing I noticed is that it's got uh, nice frets here, a little bit bigger frets than uh, I've seen on a lot of the uh, kind of the lower line call stuff. But anyway, super cool looking. All right, let me let me play let me play a little bit more for you. I think I switched keys there at the end a little bit, but all right, there you get the idea. Great sounding. I really liked his lot. What do you think? I mean, now that you've seen it, you've heard it, I've played some strumming, I've done some finger picking, done some blues. So what do you think of this new call? Remember, this is a K-A-A-S-F-M-T-C, the tenor, tenor cutaway. So um, here's my thoughts. Great instrument. Uh, I've got two of them in to the store.youlikeopros.com. I think they're great. I mean, I've just pulling them out, you can feel how the quality is. Just having that solid wood, it makes a huge difference. Yes, laminate's okay. And you can have some good sounding ukuleles. I'm not gonna fight you on that, but solid wood. I mean, it's the way to go. Um, sounds good. I love the looks of this thing. I like the, the, the maple. I do like the cutaway. Um, the tuners, as I mentioned, really, kind of were really nice and and the ebony fretboard it plays really nice even though it's a tenor it feels kind of compact it feels it doesn't feel like overly big it's got a nice neck i love the kind of satin neck it has on it um so I'm, I'm a fan i'm a total fan of this thing um and so uh yeah i'd like to know what you think i do have these as i mentioned i like to say stock these two because they're actually sold out already as the time of this video but i do have a couple at my store store.youcollectthepros.com uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for your comments and uh, we'll see you next time.